What motions stimulate each of the semicircular canals? And what are coplanar pairs? The motions that stimulate each of the semicircular canals are based upon their anatomic locations. Movements within the plane of the canal are going to be most stimulating, either excitatory or inhibitory. Let's take a look on the left ear model and see which motions excite each of the canals. Remember here on this ear model, just for orientation, that the cochlea is most medial, the anterior canal is the closest one to it, and it lies at about a 45 degree angle from the mid-sagittal plane. We've got the horizontal canal here, which will be pitched back about 30 degrees within the ear, and the posterior canal on the back is located at a right angle to that anterior canal. So if we consider that motions within the plane of the canal are going to be the ones that stimulate, if I tip my head toward my left knee, that's going to stimulate my left anterior canal. If I pitch my head forward so that the horizontal is level and I turn my head to the left, that's going to stimulate my left horizontal canal. If I tip my head back, that's going to stimulate my left posterior canal. So let's look at the same things on the other side. So on my right ear model, remember that anterior canal 45 degrees from the mid-sagittal plane, a motion that tips my head toward my right knee would excite that right anterior canal. If I tip my head slightly forward, leveling out the horizontal canal and rotate my head to the right, that's going to excite the right horizontal canal. If I tip my head back, that's going to excite my right posterior canal. So you might remember that we used a pipe cleaner model last week. And so this pipe cleaner model, it has the same relationships amongst the canals as our actual model. So um, in the back, we have our posterior canal on the pipe cleaner model. This is red. Horizontal canal is white and the anterior canal is green. So if I put this on my ear, which is a lot of times what my students do in a live class, and I pitch this back about 30 degrees, and I remember that that anterior canal is about 45 degrees from the mid-sagittal plane, and I tip my head in that direction, that's going to be excitatory to the right anterior canal. If I pitch my head forward and turn my head right, that's going to excite the right horizontal canal. And if I tip my head back, that's going to excite right posterior canal. So you remember those paper models that we did? The horizontal canal makes up the floor. Anterior canal makes up front wall. Posterior canal makes up back wall. So this is my right ear, and we've got the same for the left ear. So horizontal makes up the floor, anterior makes up front wall, and posterior makes up the back wall. So if these guys were in my ears, and I remember that the horizontal canals are pitched back about 30 degrees, and the anterior canals are at about a 45 degree angle from the mid-sagittal plane, if I make a motion, toward my right knee, the right anterior canal is excited. But over on this posterior canal over here, that same motion is going to be inhibitory. So these are coplanar pairs. They are canals that are paired within the same plane of movement. And what's excitatory to one is inhibitory to the other. So that head to the right knee excites right anterior but it inhibits left posterior. And the opposite motion, tipping my head back, is going to be excitatory to left posterior, but inhibitory to the right anterior. So this is true of each of the canals. So put another way to simplify it, um, if I turn my head to the right, my right horizontal is gonna be excited, the left horizontal is gonna be inhibited. If I turn my head to the left, left horizontal is excited, right horizontal is inhibited. What happens in the other planes? This is the Ralph plane, right anterior, left posterior. What excites the right anterior canal? 
tipping my head toward my right knee inhibits the left posterior. What excites the left posterior inhibits the right anterior in that same RALP plane. For the other direction, my LARP plane, left anterior, right posterior, if I tip my head toward my left knee, excites left anterior, inhibits right posterior. If I tip my head back, excites right posterior, inhibits left anterior. So now you know what motions are detected by each of the semicircular canals, what coplanar pairs are, and you know the secret vestibular handshake.